Hi everyone, I'm back and I decided to do my Sephora VIB sale haul. And I debated whether or not to do this video since there were so many other of these types of videos, but I decided to do it from the perspective of someone that really doesn't shop at Sephora, really doesn't spend a lot of money on makeup. Um, so what a person like that buys during this sale. And I will say the only reason I'm even a a VIB member is that when I was pregnant, I um, went to Sephora and bought a lot of natural hair care products. So I became a VIB member then, and I, you know, was able to maintain the VIB status by restocking on things that I would buy anyway. And I think that's how I shop the sale. I don't use it to buy like a bunch of random things and i think it's a excellent marketing ploy by sephora because so many people just buy random things that they would never buy because it's 20 percent off but to me 20 percent off is not enough to buy like fairly expensive makeup and skincare goods that you know, I would never buy otherwise. So that's how I shop the, the sale. So this is from the perspective of someone who doesn't um, collect makeup. I wear makeup regularly, but I don't buy a ton of it. I just sort of know what I'm into and I have what I like. So maybe I own 10 lipsticks, 10 lip glosses, 10 lip liners. Many of those are samples that just happen to work out, but you know, if I have a, a pink color, I don't feel the need to get every shade of pink. Um, and I try to use what I have and go through it. So this is, you know, from that perspective. So I use the opportunity to be a, this sale to buy a couple of fragrances that I was gonna buy anyway. I only own two fragrances um, that I use. I use Prada Candy and Jour de Hermes and they're both a couple years old and halfway done and so I decided that I wanted a year-round fragrance and a summer fragrance so for my year-round fragrance I bought where's the box oh. so my year-round fragrance I bought the YSL Black Opium, which is a really pretty fragrance. Um, this is the bottle. I don't know if you can tell that it's the liquid inside is pink. And then the other fragrance that I bought is right here. I bought, hopefully you can see that, Tom Ford Noir which is much more musky and I consider a nice winter scent. And that's the pretty Tom Ford packaging. They're both in the one ounce size. As I said, I've had those two other fragrances for two years and they're both only half gone. So I'm not a person that needs um, large size fragrances. I wanna repurchase the Jordan Hermes, but that I wouldn't buy at Sephora. There are plenty of online retailers that has that particular fragrance a lot cheaper. And I want the Alaya fragrance, which is pretty strong. Um, I don't even think they sell it at Sephora, but again, that's something that's you can get much cheaper than at a department store online. So. Those were my fragrance purchases, and again, things that I would have bought anyway. Then I restocked on the Stila, uh, what's this called? Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I would love to find a cheaper alternative to this because the edge gets fuzzy. Like It, it doesn't last a long time, but it stays put. I've tried the Givenchy, which is much more expensive. It was terrible, and I just can't find a drugstore alternative that stays put as well as this. But if anyone knows of one, please let me 
no, because I just don't like the tip of this um, eyeliner. I just plan every VIB sale to purchase an, a new one. And that's probably, to be honest, how long an eyeliner should last anyway. I, um, but yeah, so then I restocked my Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is the bottle in color 160. Now I was hoping to find a other foundation. I was hoping to find a foundation that had a dewy finish, but also had a high SPF, which those two things are probably uh, counter each other. So what I decided is just get my regular foundation and instead I would um, find a moisturizer with a higher SPF, like a Neutrogena sensitive skin moisturizer that I think goes up to like SPF 50. Um, so there's that. Um, then I restocked my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which the packaging has changed. I brought out the old packaging so you can see the difference. I think I prefer um, this packaging. I think this one kind of looks like it's trying to be, um, oh, what's that brand? There's a brand that <laughs> their packaging kind of looks like this, but um, Benefit, yeah. I think this kind of looks like Benefit, but you know what? If it works, it works. Okay. Um, and then as far as skincare, I see a dermatologist and I use products that are prescribed. So I'm really careful as to what I use on my skin. Last year, at this time, I bought one of the small Glam Glow samples, and I really enjoyed that, and I didn't have a reaction to it, so I, and I still have, um, I still have left of the green and, not the green, the blue one and the white one, so I'm probably like a once a month mask person, so there was no reason for me to buy like a few $60, $70 masks. Instead, I wanted to try the Peter Thomas Roth mask and Sephora has a exclusive sample size that's only $20, so it's $16 on sale. And you get the cucumber gel mask, which is detoxifying the rose stem cell by repair gel mask and then a pumpkin enzyme mask that's a resurfacer. So I decided to try these. It was fairly inexpensive and it was something I wanted to try anyway. And along those lines, I also decided to try the Tony Moly Snail Hydrogel Age Defying Face Mask Sheet. I've never tried a face mask um, and this got really good reviews and it was fairly inexpensive and something I wanted to try anyway. So I got those two and then is that it? That, yeah, that may very well be it. As far as samples, I got the Buxom sample that came with... Uh, I'll show you what it came with. It came with two lip glosses. So I've been wanting to try the Buxom brand lip glosses for a while, but I um, I don't like sampling in stores using their um, samples. And I didn't want to buy and, you know, possibly return. So this was a great way to sample the consistency of their lip gloss. And I'm really glad I did because... I'm not so into them. They have like a minty flavor that I'm, I don't really, yeah, not for me. I'll use these up. Um, they're small sample sizes, but I won't buy big um, full sizes. And then it comes with a mascara that I'll definitely use. I haven't bought a full size mascara in many years because I always get samples and they're always decent, so I can use them up. And then there's an eyeliner in um, a 
color call I'll be waiting, which is like a charcoal gray sparkle. That will be great for, for evening. Um, so there's that. And then I got a couple of the free Sephora samples. By the time I placed my order, all the good ones were gone. Um, so I probably should have placed my order sooner if I wanted to get good samples. Um, so all I was able to get was this Burberry Nude Radiance. I don't even know what that is. This is pretty good. It's an agave healing oil for the hair. I will try that. And then I also got a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream. I may try that to see how it works on my skin or how the brand in general works on my skin. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. I hope you enjoy this video from someone who really doesn't shop at Sephora only twice a year. And as you see, there was really no makeup. Um, well, there was the foundation but there, and the sample lip glosses, but there were no eyeshadows or blushes or anything like, like that. Those are not things that I regularly buy. Um, and I probably need to spend like 10 more dollars to, to um, maintain my VIB status for next year. But what I, so I was, you know, there is a lip gloss that I wanted to get. So I was gonna get it in this order, but then I realized that in a couple of weeks, Sephora will send like a $15 uh, coupon gift certificate and I can always get that lip gloss or lips uh, lipstick that's you know 25 to 30 dollars and then only spend ten dollars um, and maintain my VIB status that way so I'm pretty crafty about these sales um, again I don't think 20% off it should is justification justification enough for me to go all out and buy things that I wouldn't ordin ordinarily use or buy so yeah so this is my Sephora haul the next video I will post will probably be a um, a, re a requested review that I filmed a long time ago it's just a long video and um, difficult to upload on my crappy cameras so but I'll do that soon and hopefully I get this one up uh, before Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving or if it goes up after Thanksgiving I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you all in the next video thanks bye bye